so I was just I was just very lost and I felt that without basketball um, I would continue to be lost um, and that's one thing that basketball has always given me um, was a place to go um, if I ever felt like I didn't know where to go. Viewing my story through the eye of the athlete. Um, I picked Binghamton because I, you know, academically they're a very well known school um, and it was closer to home so that my parents could come and watch. And I enjoyed the coaching staff um, and I felt that I could vibe well with the team and, and um, that I'd be able to play. Uh, as soon as I got there my freshman year. I lived with my two best friends. Uh, we got into a lot of crazy stuff. Good things. Uh, <laughs> you can't jump with the law. Um, but <laughs> but um, we had fun. Uh, our team was really good. We didn't really have a lot of drama. Um, our new coaching staff was nothing but uh, welcoming and, and they, really, they really helped us grow as people, as basketball players. Um, Shout out to my fave, Shawnee, who helped me in so many ways. I can't thank her enough. Uh, but it was a really good year. Uh, and I'm, I can say that I, I'm really happy that I, I picked Binghamton. Um, I, I've met lifelong friends. Um, I had a great career. Um, and it's definitely not a decision that I regret. I realized that the season was ending. Um, I was very sad. Um, just very uncertain about my future. Um, I, I really didn't have a plan um, and you know I developed a lot of anxiety because you know my best friend already um, accepted a job in the city a great job in the city um, and then one of my other senior teammates she um, was gonna be a grad assistant so th they kind of had their lives together uh, whereas I really didn't um, and you know, not that I was getting pressure from my parents, uh, my friends, my academic advisor, but I just felt like they wanted answers and I really didn't have any answers. Um, so I was just, I was just very lost and I felt that without basketball, um, I would continue to be lost. Um, and that's one thing that basketball has always given me um, was a place to go um, if I ever felt like I didn't know where to go. Um, so not having that um, constant everyday practice and, and games and stuff, uh, I was just very worried. I would give to a graduating senior. Um, this is hard for me because I, <laughs> I still need advice daily. I'd be stressed over, you know, a job or and if you're unsure about something, like just don't be stressed about it, because um, it only makes things worse. Um, um, you'll figure out what you're supposed to do in time. Um, you know, it might take you a little bit to get there, but you'll get there. Um, so don't stress and just enjoy the ride. Different country to play basketball um, was something that I was kind of afraid of, but I love basketball. Um, it's been a huge part of my life. It's shaped me into who I am. Everyone's always told me that Ireland is a very beautiful place. So I don't know, I just thought that it was different and that I wouldn't be as, um, you know, upset or homesick as I thought I would be. Um, but you should be excited, like be an excitement too. You should pursue it because that's the only way you're gonna grow as, a, as an individual. Um, so I, I did, I ended up getting accepted into the program um, and I would be stupid not to accept it and not to come here. Um, and, um, and my parents were, and my, my sisters were nothing but supportive of my decision. Um, and it was huge for me. I mean, moving to a new country, um, not knowing anyone, um, 
it's terrifying, but it honestly was probably one of the best decisions of my life, and I'm I'm very happy here. Um, I've met some amazing people, and um, I'm really enjoying my master's program. Um, and you know, I still get to play the game I love. So the new country um, is challenging on its own. Um, you know, getting accustomed to the culture, the lifestyle, the people. Um, was definitely challenging at first, um, but that's something that I'm, I think I'm pretty used to now. Um, I would say one of the biggest obstacles for myself um, is still just trying to find out, you know, where I belong in the world, meaning like, where should I kind of go from here? Because yes, I'm here right now, but this is only a temporary thing. So I still need to think about a career. I still need to think about the future. Um, but I am I am enjoying the moment that I'm in now. Um, um, enjoy being young because when you're old, you're gonna look back and be like, why didn't I do this and why didn't I do that? Um, and that's also part of the reason why I came to Ireland because I've never been to Europe and just living in a different country for a year is an amazing. You meet new people, you see new things. Um, and that's kind of leads into my my next piece of advice is just like, don't stay um, complacent. You know, keep trying to improve yourself, keep trying to grow, um, you know, whether that's picking up a new hobby or traveling, um, just continue to try to grow your life in different aspects. Um, so thank you for viewing my story through the eye of the athlete.